so let's cut to the chase. Today we're going to be setting up Ryubin. This is a very awesome fork of the famous Ryu Jinx Nintendo Switch emulator. So in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to set this up, which files we're going to need for this, and I'm also going to be going through game formats that are supported by Ryubin. I'm also going to be showing you how to set your controllers up, take a brief look at some video settings. So first things first, we're going to need the emulator itself. So we're going to head over to github and if we just scroll downwards we're gonna find a latest build section just here now i'm using the most stable release for this but we can also use the latest canary versions which is could be more up to date but maybe just a touch unstable if you go with what i'm using here stable which is what i really recommend we're gonna find some downloads just here and the one i'm using is this one just here and you can see windows underscore time 64 just download that one once you've downloaded it we're going to get ourselves a zip folder if we just open this up and drag the contents outside which is a published folder and there we go once we've extracted that we can now delete the Ryu Jinx zip folder okay so next thing we need to do is just go inside of that published folder and let's make a quick shortcut of the Ryu Jinx.exe so right click show more options and from here, I'm going to go to send to desktop create shortcuts. That just makes it easier to access this emulator. Now within this published folder, I'm going to drag in my files folder. And I'm also going to drag in my games folder. So everything's in one place. Now, if I go into my files folder, this is what we need to get this emulator up and running. We're going to need firmware and we're going to need prod.keys and title.keys. Okay, so next thing we're going to do then is take a look at the games that we need. So if I go into my games folder, I've got these games in .nsp, but .xci is also going to work. So we're going to launch the emulator for the first time. Okay, so first thing we're going to see is that Ryu Jinx was unable to find product keys. So I'm going to press OK. And what I'm going to do is just quit out the emulator. I'm going to go into my computer C drive and I'm going to find my users folder and the name of my system folder just here, which is Jamie. I'm then going to go to my app data folder into my Roman folder. And if I scroll downwards, I'm going to come across Ryu Jinx folder. If we go inside of here, we're going to find a system folder. Now, this is where your prod and title key files must go. So these are obviously in my published folder. If I go into my files folder, I'm going to just drag and drop or make a copy of both of these files inside of that system folder. Okay, cool. So we're going to open up Ryu Jinx again. And this time round, as we can see, we're not getting that request because those files have now been put into place. So next thing we need to do is install the firmware. Now I'm using firmware 18.0.0 and this works fine with the latest release of this emulator. So to install the firmware, I'm going to go to actions, install firmware, install firmware.xci or .zip. Now I'm going to point this to my publish folder and into my files folder and I'm going to double left click my firmware. Now just make a note this doesn't need to be extracted we can install it as a .zip and we're going to install this by pressing yes. As we can see that's been successfully installed press ok. Next thing we need to do is add our games into this. So we're going to head up to options, settings and we're going to find game directories. If I go to add now, as we know just a minute ago, I put my games folder inside of the publish folder. So I need to find my publish folder again. And here's my games folder. I'm going to just highlight that by left clicking it once and go to select folder. That's now been mounted into place. I'm going to go to the bottom right hand side and hit apply and OK. And as we can see, my games are now within the UI itself. Awesome stuff. Next thing we're going to take a look at then is setting up a controller. Now I'm using an official Nintendo Switch controller for this and it's working fine. I'm going to head back up to options, down to settings and over to the second tab, which is input. Under input device, I'm going to drop this down and select Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Now everything here is automatically mapped out for me. If I want to use an Xbox controller for this as well as use my Switch controller, then I can actually save different profiles. Under profile, I'm going to type in Switch. 
I'm then going to go to the Save Profile button, and that's now saved. And if I was to plug in an Xbox controller, I'd also save that under Profile Name as Xbox and save it. Okay, so first of all, let's just check that games are working and everything's set up correctly. Now, if you get any problems where your controller's not working, just make sure to right-click on the game this is happening with and go to Create Custom Configuration. Under Input Device, make sure that your controller is connected and go to Apply and Save. Now, we're going to find a little cog on the icon of Super Mario Odyssey and that just tells us that it's got a custom configuration. Let's start the game. And if I press Alt and Enter, that's going to bring us into a full screen mode. Now you're going to notice a lot of stutter just there and that's perfectly fine with Switch emulation. It's just gathering all the graphics and next time around and running the game it should act a lot smoother for you. And as we can see, that's working fine. And like I just said a minute ago, if your game should stutter all over the place like that, that's perfectly fine. And just make sure, of course, that your computer is up to the challenge to begin with. So check out the PC requirements on the Ryubin website. Okay, so next up, let's actually take a look at adding some DLC or update files. This is very easy to do. Now, in this example, I've got an update file for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now, as we can see here, I've got the Mario Kart 8 game, and I've also got the update for this, and this is also in .nsp. Okay, so to add the update to the game, I'm going to right-click on Mario Kart 8 for this example. I'm going to left-click on Manage Title Updates, and it's going to say No Update there. So we need to go to add and I'm going to point this into my games folder and I'm going to double left click on the Mario Kart update. And there we go. One new update added. I'm then going to go to save and this will be the same process for DLC too. So again, just right click on the desired game, manage DLC. And as we can see, we've also got the add button for this too. So before I open up Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I'm just going to right click on it again and make sure that the controller is connected to play this game. So right click, create custom configuration, input, and I'm going to make sure that input device is selected as switch controller. Or you could of course go to profile providing you've saved a previous mapping and just select the profile name from there. Hit apply and save and I'm going to open up the game. As we can see at the bottom left hand corner it says version 1.7.0 which is the update file that I've just installed.
and that's it for setting up Ryubin today. So like I also mentioned in the video, just make sure that the computer you're planning on running this emulator from is up to the task. And just make sure you either check the PC requirements over on the Ryubin GitHub page or over on the Ryu Jinx website. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming content here on my channel, Just Jamie. And if you're interested in other console emulator systems, then I'm going to leave a link in my comment section so you can check out previous emulator tutorials that I've covered so far. Anyways, thanks for watching and until next time, stay retro.